Good morning everybody. We are leaving Bruges and we're going to Noki. If that's how you pronounce it. With all the lovely windmills around. Our next camping site is only about 15. Possible. Oh, she's recognised a different new road layout. Good one, Judy. We can't turn around. Anyway, we are on our way to our next camp and it will be our final camp before we say goodbye to Ned and we put him on a roll on, roll off ship to New Zealand. So yeah, we'll see you soon. Well, it's a sad day today, as you can see, suitcases out, cupboards are nearly empty, we're cleaning out Ned. See, box after box of stuff has been taken from here into a little cottage that we have rented for three days while we clean up Ned. And the weather is for pouring rain. There's my bike. Danny has sold his bike, so that's one less item to bring home. And um, yeah, as you can see, we're in a camping ground, lots of people around us. And um, yeah, we're saying goodbye to Ned. And here we are inside our little wee cottage for the day. Well, three days. So here's the contents <laughs> of the motorhome in the wee unit. And um, yeah, suitcases at the ready. So um, yeah, it's all on. Packing up Ned. Good morning everybody. We are waiting at a tilter bridge and we are about to drop our motorhome off at Zeebrugge for exporting back to New Zealand. It's a miserable wet day today but we won't let that dampen our spirits will we dear because we're going on a mini cruise. 14 hour sleepover on a P&O ferry. So yeah. We are arriving here at the exporting company to take our motorhome, which we call Ned, to inspect it for shipment. Any idea? Anything to say? No, no I can see the car theory, even though they're not ours, but I can see them. You can see them. So I know where we're going, but... Okay. Anything else? Ned was fully groomed yesterday, and now it's pouring down with rain, she'll be filthy. So, so we'll just have to hope that they are happy to take yeah. our motor home, taking into account the poor weather conditions, but it was genuinely groomed inside and out. We've got photos to prove it. We do too. If so, they don't, um, we'll just have to get our towels out and... Start wiping. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then we'll come back soon. No drama. Here we are, 
room 1131 in the club room. And this is our room for the next 14 hours. Not bad, is it, dear? It's all right. So we have complimentary bathrobes. Ooh. And we have a full bar service, tea and coffee. And, and we have a window. And we have a view. And it's getting dark because what time is it? It's 20 to 6 and we've just checked in, just gone through customs and got our passport stamped of Zeebrugge. And we're there. And Danny's found a Peroni. It's not my favourite beer to be honest, <laughs> but it's beer. And open the fridge and show me what's inside the fridge. Apparently this is ours to consume. And it's all part of the price of that. That's right. So, oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. We've got some wine in there for Joe. And what? your and your favourite Pepsi. Yeah. Pepsi will be staying. <laughs> unless I take it out and try and sell it to a street kid. Very funny. Oh, what's that? I think I've broken the Oh dear. There you go. We can have that up. Have it up when we swim. No, when your cabin lights are on, the blinds ought to be shut. Don't you read, Miss Ford? You've got it, eh? Come on. Oh, oh right, oh, yeah. yeah. Please keep the curtains closed at all times when the cabin light is on. Okay then. Hmm. So what do you have to say about the experience of today? Um dropping off Ned. Bit sad, a little bit, probably a little bit concerned with having to leave the uh, habitation key and that behind where we were told we didn't have to, but because we have left our belongings in there which we were told were allowed, but that's all good though. Um, but we'll all, hey, come ne next year, it'll be all go, go, go. Catch up with people that we've met and heard and spoke to us on YouTube and everything else, it'll be fantastic. Meanwhile, See you later. We're signing off now and we're going to party. <laughs> yeah, party. Okay, then. I think that just means a drink at the bar. <laughs> oh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Bye for now. And we have our own wee ensuite. We have a shower. And we have a little bathroom vanity area. All very good. And Danny's found a biscuit. <laughs> biscuit and beer. Is someone hungry? Biscuit and beer. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Yum. This is our entree. Seafood for me. Soup for Danny. And we've had a couple of drinks at the bar. And here is the restaurant. Self the, called The Kitchen. World flavours. So we're having like as many courses as we like in a self-serve buffet. What do you think so far, dear, of our travel? No beer. Oh, but you've had a beer. Be honest, you've had a beer. I've had three grouch. 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 So now we're having our entree. Okay, Danny has his main meal. What is that? Chips and what? Chicken something. What, curry? Cod. Is it curry? Yeah, cod something. You got cod? You cod there. Mashed potato. Gravy on the chips. Oh my god. Chicken something. Oh my god. Oh, and a beer. Oh, and a beer. <laughs> party, party. <laughs> and I'm having an Indian meal. Yum. How was your meal? Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. Okay. Back to my Indian meal. Yum. Because if you remember, bro, when we come over, many years back, there were no water in here, we dried up. Way, way over there you can see a boat and that's where we've just been picked up from. That's right. And this is and this is called a really long bridge. This is the Humber Bridge. Humber Bridge. Alternative name, really long bridge. <laughs> Good morning everybody. 
we are reporting from the UK and look at that for a wicked frost. I think it's around 8.30 maybe in the morning and it's not even proper winter yet. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see but you, it's all frost on everything. Wow. 